The dinosaurs dominated the world for 160 million years, but 65 million years ago, it only took one rock to end it all. Okay, well, to be fair, it was a pretty big rock, but could we bring the dinosaurs back from extinction? And if we could, would we want to? Hello everyone, welcome to Condubus Explains by Condubus Productions, the channel whose logo used to be a picture of a mammal, well, more specifically a jackal, due to the fact that the icon was literally something I found on Google Images half a decade ago, it is now the company's name next to a Vulcaneer. Since we're primarily an educational channel, I can't really think of any smarter alien race in my favorite sci-fi franchise, Star Trek. Can you tell? Almost every single Conobus Explains video has a Star Trek reference. But that's not the point of this video. Now, the possibilities of us seeing a real T-Rex or a pack of Velociraptors in a zoo are awesome, but slim. This is because that, you know, the method they use in Jurassic Park to revive dinosaurs using DNA from fossilized amber is basically impossible because DNA breaks down too quickly. But there could be another method, to genetically modify a bird like an emu or an ostrich. Yes, genetically modified birds. These actually won't really result in a real velociraptor at first, or, well, to be honest, really ever. Realistically, it would be more like a Gallosaurus. But we don't have to just force chicken embryos into dinosaur-like shapes. After all, birds are the direct descendants of dinosaurs so it may be possible to reverse evolve the birds. It'll be a kind of guided acceleration de-evolution, where a chicken's offspring, for example, has a bigger body, a longer tail, and a couple of teeth. Then from generation to generation, the features get more and more pronounced, until you get something that looks close to a raptor. Large theropods like the famous T-Rex and the bizarre Therizinosaurus and sauropods such as the Brachiosaurus, Seismosaurus, and Diplodocus will be considerably more difficult to recreate, mainly because of the certain features, like the column-like legs, which all birds lack, and also, the main reason, they're f***ing huge! So, if we'll be able to recreate dinosaurs from reverse-evolving chickens, then we'll probably only get small raptors. Not that that's really anything we should really be complaining about. I mean, that's like going to Mars and complaining that you don't have a good view of Earth. Mainly because you would just mistake it for a star unless you could somehow see a hint of blue. But even if we could bring them back, would we want to? I understand that the dinosaurs are awesome, but for 160 million years, from the dawn of the first dinosaurs to the KT mass extinction, mammals basically looked like this. Although there were hundreds of dinosaur species, and not all of them were uh, carnivorous, not even the ones that we could recreate from a chicken. Some of the herbivorous, insectivorous, and omnivorous raptors that we could recreate from chickens, in other words, raptors we could recreate from chickens that hopefully won't kill you, are species such as the Anzuulea, Saudi Terexali, and Microraptor, and a lot more. I really hope I was pronouncing the first two right. Plus, in zoos, even animals like lions and hippos rarely get the chance to attack a spectator, and those chances are either from being a smart ape or being locked in by a dumb zookeeper. But could we bring back the dinosaurs from extinction by traveling back into their era, like in prehistoric park? Find out next week. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think? Should we bring back the dinosaurs? Leave your answers in the comment section below or in some other direction if YouTube changes its design yet again. As always, be sure to subscribe so you'll know when we have uploaded a new video. It's really much easier if you've subscribed. Also, what do you think of our new logo? See you this Wednesday for positive news.